Hi guys, and welcome back to another session of Google Classroom Basics. Now, this session is to show you a new feature that Google just rolled out, which is um, Google Meet now integrates with Google Classroom. Now, when you open Classroom for the first time, you'll see a notification that Meet is now integrated into Google Classroom and it will prompt you to go to settings to turn it on. Um, now, because I've already done that, um, another way for you to do it is to go through, go to the gear settings and scroll down to general and you'll click on generate meet link. Now, this is the first time you're doing this is going to ask you to generate meet link. Once you do so, it now generates a unique link or uh, this particular Google classroom. Now, just bear in mind that each classroom will generate its unique link, all right? And you'll see by default it says visible to students. So if you click save, what happens now is a link to your Google Meet will appear in the header of the classroom. So this is the teacher view. If I go over to the student view, you'll also see that the header, the link is now in the header of Google, of that student's Google Classroom. Now, um, because of the settings that we have in our domain, now students will not be able to join a Meet or to start their own Meet unless a teacher is there. So to demonstrate this, let me show you. So if a student clicks on the link and you have not initiated a Meet, a meet as yet, they're not going to be allowed. It's going to tell them that the code doesn't work. Um, the only way that they'll be able to join the meet is if you, as a teacher, initiates a meet. So if you, if I click on it now as a teacher, I click join now. And this is all the information for the meet and I'll knit. So if we go back to the student view, and if a student now clicks on that link, now the student will be able to join, and I'm gonna turn off my mic to avoid any um, feedback, and I can say join now. You see it says one Adams is now in this call, this is the teacher, so I click join now. Okay, so if I go back to the teacher view, and I click on participants, I'll see who are the people there. Okay, so that's how you will be able to, the students will be able to join a meet. Now, if you want, um, it's not nece really necessary if the students, if, the, if your admin has turned off um, stream and recording, in the domain, meaning that students within your school or within your domain cannot join the meet or to start a meet, then there's no need for you to um, to go back to the settings and change the visibility. If this op if this is not an option in your organization, then you may want to not make it visible to students and also to reset. I'll, um, the link each time you finish a Google Meet. That way, students will not be able to join a Meet um, or to copy the link for your Meet and to go and rejoin it at a later time without your presence. So I hope this was really helpful and check back for the next update. Bye.